Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. So last week I shared one of my favorite breakfast recipes, the French toast, and this week I'm sharing one of my husband's favorite. He requests this dish all the time, almost every single weekend. It's a smoked salmon and avocado eggs benedict. Absolutely delicious, loaded with so much amazing flavor. I'm gonna run you through this recipe step by step, how I prepare it for the best presentation. So I start things out by preparing all my ingredients. I have some of my smoked salmon, sliced avocado. I also like to add fresh dill and capers on the top. Then we're gonna get started on the hollandaise sauce then toast up our English muffins, make our poached eggs, and then assemble everything together. For the hollandaise sauce, you'll need four large egg yolks, a tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, add a pinch of salt to that, a little ground black pepper, and I like to add just a dash of smoked paprika. And whisk this mixture vigorously until it's thick and pale and ribbons off of your whisk. And now for cooking the hollandaise sauce, you'll want to fill a saucepan with just a little bit of water. You want to make sure that it doesn't touch the bottom of your bowl and bring it to a low simmer. Then just set it right on top. As the sauce is cooking, you want to make sure that you're whisking vigorously and then slowly add in half a cup of melted butter. You want to add just a little bit of time and give it a really good whisk after each addition. After you added all the butter, just keep whisking and cooking the hollandaise sauce until it reaches your desired thickness. Now, I like mine on the thicker side, so I cook it for a few minutes longer. My hollandaise sauce is all done. I've covered it, set it aside, and I'm keeping it warm until I'm ready to use it. Next up, I'm going to toast my English muffins. Now, you can toast them under the broiler in your oven. I like to do it in a pan with a little bit of butter because I think it adds so much amazing flavor. I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of butter into my pan and I've sliced my English muffins. And once that butter is melted, I'm going to place them um, the inside down first into the butter, get that toasted up nicely, and then turn them over and toast them on the other side as well. And I recommend preparing the poached eggs last. So I've added a little bit more water to my saucepan, enough to cover the eggs, and I'm going to add a tablespoon of white vinegar. The acid is going to help keep the egg whites together and season that with a generous pinch of salt. Then grab a large spoon and swirl the water in one direction. And I've broken one egg into a small ramekin. I'm just gonna drop that egg into the center. And each egg will take about two to three minutes to cook. And what I like to do is just lift the egg off with a slotted spoon. You can always test that center. You want the egg yolk to still be nice and squishy. And then I place my uh, poached eggs onto a tray line with paper towels just to absorb any of the extra water. All right, so let's assemble this dish. I added a few uh, baby heirloom tomatoes on the side. Always nice to have a little extra color. I'm going to add my sliced avocado on next. Fan that out. Add a generous amount of smoked salmon on top. Top that off with our poached egg. Pour on a generous amount of the hollandaise sauce. Finish that off with a touch of ground black pepper. And then we're gonna add some fresh dill and a few capers. And you can also add those on the inside. All right, and now for that magical moment I know you guys have all been waiting for. Let's cut that open. Oh, look at that egg yolk running out. It's going to taste so good. And that's it for my smoked salmon and avocado eggs benedict. Now this whole process takes about 30 minutes, but let me tell you, every bite is gonna be so worth the time spent. Time to dig in and enjoy this. This looks so good. I always love making this dish. Time to grab some of that avocado and salmon. Mmm. Every single bite of this Eggs Benedict is so ridiculously good. Absolutely love that creamy, zesty hollandaise sauce. Goes so well with the poached egg, that smoky salmon, creamy avocado, and I love that butter toasted English muffin. It adds a nice crunchiness to the recipe. This is so darn good. If you're looking for a new recipe, you've got to give this one a try. This is my husband's all-time favorite breakfast recipe. It's for a very good reason. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. And if you do make it, snap a photo of it, and you can always tag me on Instagram with Tatiana's Everyday Food. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.